For 9 o'clock news, this is Douglas Cameron. A most furious tempest struck southern parts of our realm during the night, doing untold damage to town and country, and sweeping all before it on the seas around our coasts. The death toll in London alone is officially put at 123, but it is thought that as many as 1,000 may have lost their lives in divers towns and villages, and many more thousands are feared to have perished at sea, making this the worst natural disaster for almost 40 years since the Great Plague ravaged the kingdom in 1665. Among the casualties are my Lord Bishop of Bath and Wells and his lady, who were struck down in their bedchamber. This report from Mistress Edith Conyers in Wells. The accident of our Lord Bishop and Lady was most remarkable. They were killed by the fall of two chimney stacks which fell on the roof and drove it down upon my Lord's bed, forcing it quite through the next floor, down into the hall, and buried them both in the rubbish. And it is supposed my Lord was getting up, for he was found with his brains dashed out some distance from my Lady, who was found in bed. Edith Conyers, IRN, Wells in Somersetshire. Also lost in the great storm was Master Henry Wynne Stanley, the architect and builder of the fine lighthouse at Eddystone Rocks off the coast of Devonshire. He was drowned when the lighthouse itself was swept into the sea at the height of the hurricane. A model of the lighthouse in Master Wynne Stanley's Essex home was also destroyed by the storm. It is believed at the very moment the true Eddystone fell amongst the towering waves of the channel. The price of bread is set to rise dramatically owing to the ruination of hundreds of windmills in the shires of the south and east of the kingdom. Many were tumbled by the force of the tempest, but many more were set afire by the great heat generated in the grinding machinery which turned uncontrollably as the sails rotated wildly in the high winds. In the Houses of Parliament today, Whigs and Tories alike are expected to call for a ban on all weather prophets for failing to warn of the storm. The MP for South End East, Master Teddy Taylor, has likened weather prediction to witchcraft. He says that the perpetrators should be treated accordingly. The Prime Minister, the Duke of Marlborough, has indicated his sympathy with that view, and we understand that certain arrests have already been made. And on a lighter note, the notorious political columnist and pamphleteer, Master Daniel Defoe, was released this morning after three hours questioning by the Kentish Constabulary. He had been helping police with their inquiries under suspicion of loitering with intent in Peckham Wood in the early hours of the morning. But he was able to convince the authorities that he was merely counting trees felled by the wind, adding that he had already counted 17,000 when he was so rudely interrupted. And now the rest of the news in brief. Her Majesty the Queen is recovering at home in Windsor after a slight head cold. She has cancelled her engagements for the coming week. Anti-monarchist terrorists, the self-styled Cromwell army, have admitted responsibility for a series of small explosions which wrecked stocks and ducking stools in towns and villages around the country yesterday. This week's by-election at Old Sarum North resulted in victory for Sir Enoch Bruinvels with a swing to the Whigs of about 4%. And finally, sport. This afternoon's football challenge between Spurs and Arsenal goes ahead after volunteers cleared the pitch of roof tiles and chimney stack bricks. Three minutes past nine and high time we had the weather. Unfortunately, in common with other weather seers, oracles and foretellers, our own resident weather prophet, Master Philip Eden, was dragged to the tower early this morning, but we were able to record a short interview with him before his incarceration. Philip, what went wrong? Why was it not forecast? Well, like weather students the land over, I've been using the latest high-tech equipment uh, to measure the downward force of the air, equipment m invented by Signor Torricelli, which he calls his barometer. Yesterday morning, the mercury in the barometer was beginning to climb in the tube, which is a good sign. It wasn't until late last night that the mercury receded again, this time most rapidly, and the tempest struck within hours. I think from now on, I shall go back to studying chickens' entrails. This has been called an historic storm, the most violent tempest the world ever saw. Do you agree with that? Certainly a storm of greatest extremity, far worse than any other in our lifetime, and probably no more severe tempest has swept the land since the reign of Elizabeth or before, and it would not be stretching belief too far to predict that England will not see its like again until the unimaginable future of the 20th century. And today's weather? Well, the entrails are promising this morning. I think the weather is improving, but it will remain rather breezy in the channel. That was Philip Eden, one-time weather prophet. Time now to find out about our roads. At the AA, Adam Gilchrist with the very latest traffic news.
there's utter chaos on the highways and byways this morning, and these are the latest trouble spots. The Great North Road at Islington Village, there are several fallen trees which have blocked the highway, north and southbound. There are severe delays at Highgate Hamlet, where the toll gate has been tumbled to the ground. The North Circular Bridleway is closed at Staples Corner because of several high-sided ox carts toppling over, and there's a three-mile tailback of handsome cabs and coaches on the Brixton Road, owing to a jackknife sedan chair at Kennington Village. Thames crossings are impassable except for London Bridge, and all ferries are believed to have sunk. Adam Gilchrist, A. Robosh. Later in the programme, we will be talking to our religious affairs correspondent about allegations in the Sun this morning that the Bishop of Bath and Wells was struck down by the hand of God because of his controversial views on sexual morality. At 9.30, our financial editor joins us to discuss the sensational 600% inflation in the price of roofing tiles overnight, while government warnings about cowboy builders go unheeded. And at 10 o'clock in the Brian Hayes programme, Brian's guest will be Master Daniel Defoe, who will talk about his forthcoming book on the storm. This is LBC.